good Monday morning, everybody. So here is the rundown for the day so far. Uh, we got up, we had breakfast, read a couple books with kids, kind of played a little treasure hunt with them with shapes and colors and letters again. That's always fun. But now he is gone to the grocery store and to the post office to drop um, a, bu a bunch of packages off. After he gets back, I have to put the groceries up and then I have to go into the office and go through all the orders and make another big shirt order for the stuff that came in over the weekend. So that's the plan right now. Got the kids dressed up for the day. It's been raining. You look so cute. Hi. Yay. <laughs> we were going to go to Kingdom Come State Park yesterday, but it rained and the wind was crazy. So we knew it would be just as bad up there. It's like 30 minutes away. We we're going to try to squeeze that in this week because we're still supposed to have warm weather and clear days until Thursday. Definitely another day this week, which is also why Sean went to the grocery store so I can put us a little picnic thing together when we do go and not have to run in the store and grab it then. I'll just take it straight from the house. Y'all, I totally had a brain fart Friday, but not only me, the girl that works for us, she works Monday through Friday. We always pay her on Friday, give her her check. Well, this past Friday, I looked up at the clock, it was like five, I always try to have her check down to her by about 4.30 so she can go ahead and leave and go cash her check. But I looked up, it was like 5.36 o'clock and I messaged, I'm like, hey, oh my God, are you still at the shop? And she's like, you know what? I forgot it was Friday too. <laughs> she's like, no, I'm already on my way home. They're doing road work. So she was stuck in traffic when we was chatting. She's like, I totally forgot it was payday too. She's like, don't worry about it. I'll get it Monday. I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah. She's like, I'll get it Monday. It's not a big deal. So while the kids are settled and I got a second, I'm going to answer a few questions that we've had asked how we like do our hours and everything at the shop because somebody had said something on the Hillbillies Apparel on Facebook like that we had responded immediately at nine o'clock at night on an email. Our hours at the shop for the girl that works for us and Sean he bounces back and forth all day eight to five I handle the emails when you are talking to anybody on the email it's 99% of the time me sometimes Sean will catch them before I do and answer it but the shop hours we do printing and we give you know Lori takes the whole weekend off yes can I help you <coughs> what honey daddy's coming right now you just had breakfast two hours ago <coughs> Listen, when dad comes with the groceries, he'll be here any minute. I'll give you a snack while I put them up, okay? <laughs> what is this? No, we ain't going in there so you can jump all over the bed and go crazy. Uh-uh. Daddy's coming with groceries. We might go jump on the bed in a little bit, okay? We're going to get outside today and get some sunshine. We go back outside every day, a couple hours every day. But it rained yesterday and it was raining this morning, but the sun is finally back out and we are back to sticks, y'all. All the leaves have finally fallen. No green. So when the sun's out, we're usually out, huh? We're gonna let the grass dry up just a little bit though. It's pouring the rain this morning. Um, are you getting sleepy? Huh? Is that a sign? You trying to tell mama something? I don't know what it is, y'all, but when we read books, so I'll sit down on the couch with them and I'll hold the book and read to them and stuff. Chloe starts going, it makes her sleepy. Ain't that like all of us though? I used to do that in school too. If a lecture went on too long, I was like battling the trying not to doze off. That's what she does. It's funny. Okay, you guys, since we are already right in the middle of groceries, I figured I would just do like a grocery haul with you guys real quick. Everything is a mess because I just got it out to show you. But anyhow, let's get started. Of course, buttermilk biscuits for breakfast and sometimes dinner. We like a biscuit. And just some snack chips, puff corn for the kids, some pretzels, some goldfish. We got two pizzas to go in the deep freezer. Those are amazing. Y'all got to try one. But just some chili seasoning packets because we are doing chili snack crackers for everybody crackers for the chicken noodle soup and crackers we got chicken for chicken and dumplings and chicken casserole hamburger meat obviously for chili these are just going to go up to the deep freezer to stock up a little bit we got cheese eggs mac and cheese for sides sausage colton and chloe's favorite 
Little Smokies. We got bananas, strawberries, tomatoes, blueberries, cantaloupe, because mama loves it, cucumbers, and little oranges. And for me and Colton, right here, I cannot get this child to eat greens, you guys, at all. He will not touch green food, but he loves these. And it's got spinach in it, it's got kale in it, barley grass, parsley. I mean, it's got some good stuff in it, and he loves it. It's got pineapple and mango, too. So, I usually give him about a quarter to a half of one of these a day, too, and I drink the other half. But he does love his fruit, as far as, you know, fruit goes. So, me and him and Chloe split this one. She loves greens. He don't. So, that helps me get it in him. Very important. Now, all of this right here is stuff for the um, chili. That's not be making. It. What? Wait, well, that's for sides, but mostly the beans and tomato juice, all that stuff is for chili. And then we got a bag of potatoes, but that's our small little grocery haul. You know, we're gonna have to talk about this chili, because this chili's not the same chili I usually make. I'm revamping my recipe. You ain't gonna be able to sit still to eat it. Well, what was wrong with the old recipe? Because I like that one. Oh, you're gonna like this one better. It's basically the same, just a little twist. I think you're gonna like. Now I gotta put it all up. Wash this fruit, get it in my mason jars, get all that put away. Chloe, no! Use your spoon. Use your spoon. No! Yes, use your spoon, please. No, no. Y yes, that's why mommy gives you a spoon. Like I've showed you. Y'all, that child prefers her hands over anything. Colton started using his fork and spoon little, little, like nine months old. She is like, She'll hold the spoon in this hand and eat with her other hand. I, I don't know why. Oh my goodness. As soon as I hit record, the sun went out from behind a cloud. All right, I'm sure little mama told you about the curse we're enduring right now. The yellow jackets are everywhere. It's nearly impossible to step out in the yard and enjoy it, especially about midday. It seems like two o'clock. They really start coming in once everything warms up. And I think it's the unseasonably warm temperatures we're having right now because it's like 75 today and here it is, you know, the, the 7th of November. Actually breaking a sweat a little bit. You can see my nose is a little shiny. But back to the yellow jackets. I actually got stung like a couple minutes ago on the shoulder. Now these are the German yellow jackets. It's not the really aggressive ones. It's just the ones that really annoy you to the core because they're like a fly or a gnat and they won't get out of your face. I don't think we'll have to use these much longer, but I went and bought some yellow jacket traps. I'm going to hang up everywhere, get them activated, and hopefully... We can get some of these yellow jackets took care of. I know it's not going to take care of all of them, but if it gets most of them and we can bring the kids out, we ain't got to worry about them getting stung. Or... But then after I do that, I got to run down to the shop, take one of the new prints down there to Lori so she can start getting them put out to you guys. She's doing good. Now, some people are impatient. I don't think they realize we have a 14 business day process and when to, to get orders out if you rush you make mistakes the quality's not there me i'd rather just take my time and make sure you guys get a good product that you order and that being said it's time to get these yellow jacket traps activated now if you've never used one of these guys they're super simple cut this circle out right here and make sure you get it on the line don't go outside the line you see them, they're already starting everywhere. <clears throat> Get away! <clears throat> Good night. Go! Oh my gosh. I've got to run. I'm getting swarmed. I know y'all had to see that. Then you got a line right here you fill with water. God, get away! And I got water all over the camera. Great. Now that you got that done, you just take your cable or rope, string or something. Just run it through this part tie it like that right there and then hang it from somewhere and before you know it you'll be catching yellow jackets watch them they're already starting to go into it i don't know if y'all yeah you see them lying around there very effective work very good i've got four of these i'm gonna set up and hopefully we'll be able to come outside soon get away i don't know if it's because i got this in my hand or what but they are attracted to me like crazy at this moment man they must like whatever's in this because they are swarming me All right, I got that one hooked up to that bird feeder. We'll come back this evening and see how many's in there, see how effective these things are. I hope they're really effective because I am sick of the yellow jackets. All right, now that I got all that done, let's head down here to the shop. Y'all, I stay busy, I stay moving up until usually eight, nine o'clock at night. I don't ever sit still. But I gotta get down here and give Lori this design so she can start putting it on the shirts. 
I gotta get back to the house so little mama can take a chance to order your guys' shirts that come in. You got your eyes on? What are those? Uh, uh, Is that your eyes? He calls his glasses his eyes, you guys. I love it. Can you see better? No. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> see, see, you don't need none. Your eyes are good. I tell you what, no. though. Listen, mommy's gonna order you a little pair of glasses of some kind, goggles or something, okay? It drives her crazy when Colton has his glasses on. She eyes, eyes. So I'm gonna have to get her a little pair of 99 cent goggles or something. That way she can have something to put on her eyes. Are you ready? Where you wanna go? Where you wanna go? Are we ready to go outside? Is that right? Mama has been at the at the computer an hour and a half ordering shirts and going through emails and getting everything straightened out. Catching the sunshine. We going outside for a little while having some outside time. Then we're going to come back in here and make some homemade mashed potatoes. He's walking me to the door. We're going to make some homemade mashed potatoes and um, some hamburger steaks this evening. Just easy this evening. No. Chili's probably going to be tomorrow. But let's go catch some sun rays while we can. It is still 72 degrees outside. This weekend, we're dropping back into the 50s. Um, can we talk about that good-looking shirt you got on there? We can. This one's on our website, guys, if you want to check it out. Selfless plug. But it says, Jesus loves you, and I'm trying to. It's become my favorite because y'all know I live in black leggings. Let me clarify something. I know everybody probably thinks I never change my pants. I'm going to have to go in there and show y'all my second drawer in my dresser. I have like 12 pair of black leggings. I have a problem. I know, but they hide my chunk. But, I mean, it's just, I don't know what it is. I have too many. I have like five pair that I got at Walmart for like $3.98 like 10 years ago. But I promise I change my pants every day. It's just 90% of the time it's into the same color, same thing. Look at this, you guys. This weekend, we'll be dropping back 20s at night and 30s and 40s during the day. Is that a good Nana? Is that good Nana? Want me to clean your hands? Oh, you need help. Okay, step down. Boy, you look awful cute. <gasps> look here, look here, look here. Look here. Right on her, Chloe. Be still. Look here. She must have sat on it. Ugh, Sean went and got some traps. Yellow jacket traps. And I'm hoping they work because I've already been stung on the bottom of the foot twice. Jumping on the trampoline at that. Like, these things don't care. They will come at you. Here's another one. No matter what. And here my poor baby has banana on her. Let mommy go get a baby wipe so I can clean your hands. Here, she's got banana and orange on her hands. And Colton with orange on his hands. I need to clean them up. Put it in your bucket. What kind of food you serving up today? You got burgers or fries? Uh, got fries? Yeah. Can I have some? Yeah. What kind of french fries you getting me? Oh, let's see. Uh, Did I get fries? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. These fries. No. no fries? What about can I have a nugget? No. No nugget? Can I have an ice cream? No. Can I have um, a popsicle? No. Oh, okay, can I have some spaghetti? No. Oh. no. What kind of bite bites do you want? No. Oh, Cece wants soup? Nom nom. No, no. All right, Cece, get your bite bites. Okay. Say thank you. No. Yay. I will take a piece of pizza, please. All right, make me some pizza. Me too. So, Mumu, so much for your beautiful little dress. Oh, I got to put the oxyclean to it, ain't I? All 
Are you okay? Oh, Lord. Yep. My mama. All better? <laughs> you guys. Uh-oh. Okay, where's she going? <laughs> oh, you want to go through this way? I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. You better go. I'm going to get him. You better go. I'm going to get him. Colton just took off flying down to the front yard. Sean's down there, that's why. He's watering the, I don't know what kind of little trees they are. Me and Cece are gonna sit here and relax for a minute. It has been a busy Monday morning, you guys. I got up. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, hi, can I have some pizza? No. No? Um, can I have some nuggets? No. <sighs> Can I have some ice cream? No. Oh, man. Can I have a hot dog? No. Um, can I have a pizza? No. Can I have spaghetti? No. Can I have a piece of candy? No. Can I have soup and crackers? No. Do I get any bite bites? No. Oh, man. You're so cute. Oh I love you. <laughs> oh. I love you so much. You and Bubba Hi. both. Hi. Is my pizza ready? <laughs> Can I have a bite? Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Go, 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 go. Mm. Mommy's making one of your favorites tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm making homemade mashed mm -hmm. potatoes. I'm making homemade mashed potatoes. Oh, oh, thank you so much. What's that? Nuggets? Is this nuggets? Ever since the leaves have fallen off of the trees, you guys, oh, Chloe, like she'll be in her swing and she'll jump up and she'll go, Mama, oh no, dinosaur. Rawr. Do you see dinosaurs? Did you see a big dinosaur? Rawr. But I think the trees, just the shape of them, and where they're so big and stuff, because when we went to Dollywood this past summer, we went through the dinosaur thing, the Jurassic Park ride and everything, and she keeps, she hasn't really mentioned dinosaurs since then until now that the trees have no leaves on them, and she's like, Mama, dinosaurs, Rawr. I think she's calling the trees dinosaurs. Um, um what? What is that, a nugget? <gasps> Thank you so much. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Um, is that a piece of ice cream? Mmm, <gasps> so nummy. Chloe has not napped today, y'all. So if she's acting a little dazed um, and whiny, it's because she wouldn't go to sleep when I tried to put her down. And by the time I got my work done on the computer, it uh, was way too late for her to take a nap because they're going to bed at seven now. It was eight by the time I fell back, so now it's seven. And I'm thinking it's like four o'clock and I still got to do dinner and bath them. So she's kind of like, you know, she's no! Excuse me, ma'am. Good thing we're the last house in the holler or the whole holler would have heard no. that. Yes, they would have. Yeah. Are you seeing a dinosaur? Right there's the one she keeps calling a dinosaur. That fallen tree there. Wow. <laughs> Is that a big rare? Are you sleepy? No. You look very sleepy. Um. Y'all, this time change has got me all cattywampus. It feels like it should be literally the end of the evening. I think that time change gets me worse than anything. I just wish they'd leave it alone. 
So, I said, we'll check these at the end of the evening, see how it went, see how many we caught. This is the one on the upper hill. And you can see quite a few of them in there floating around. And we didn't have near as many messing with us today when we was out. We blew a little more leaves off of this yard. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I'm thinking about burning it. We didn't show you that. I mean, I think we've showed y'all enough yard work. Sometimes it's kind of hard not to with a daily vlog because, I mean, this is just it's what we do. This one ain't got none in it. Let's go up here by the play area and see how many that one got. Yeah, we got a few yellow jackets in there swimming around. It has to be this unseasonably warm weather. It has to be. Actually, it was hot today. See, I got to blow all these down here. All those down here. There'll be a pile of leaves level with this ground here. You can tell how much yard we lost from that flood, that all. This went way out into here. You can just see how much of it just fell off. What's up, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is that cat we found on her anniversary. She has got so big, and she's a good cat, but she's a touch me not. Oh, Molly cat. <laughs> Did I say I just had to dig a pretzel out of Colton's nose? No, but. He decided to bite a piece of pretzel off and then put it up his nose hole. And then come over to me and he kept pointing at his nose. I was like, what is it? And I raised his head back and I seen it. Luckily, I just had to push and it popped out. Did you get a pretzel up your nose? Yeah. <laughs> was it bad? Did it suck? Hey. Did mama get it out? Yay. Am I interrupting your TV time? Playtime's over. We can wrestle later if you want. Bye. You want to wrestle later? Okay, I'm out of your way. Super simple grub night. We're just having some hamburger steaks. I got some taters in there. I can't turn this light on because it freaks the cameras out. We're gonna have some fresh mashed potatoes and some macaroni and cheese. But come back later in the week because I'm gonna show you how to make the most phenomenal chili you've ever ate in your life. But most of the time we eat really simple. Not much of a cooking video you could really do, because like I said, it's just salt and pepper hamburger meat. Some mashed potatoes, even though I do, I leave my skin on, I boil them whole. You don't lose none of your potato, your starches, or your flavor. I don't cut my potatoes up. I, th I think that's the wrong way to do it. More flavorful potatoes if you just boil them whole. Then you can like rub the skin right off of them or leave the skin on. The choice is up to you, but yeah. Here, I'll just show you what it looks like finished. There you have it. Super simple, nothing fancy. Just some grub for the belly. You like it, sissy? No. Bubba just don't know. Maybe. You look sleepy. Maybe eight. You are sleepy? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> you are too, did girl. Sissy, are you <laughs> sleepy? <laughs> She can't even stand up. <laughs> We've cut their naps out and they're not dealing well with it. Well, I tried to get her to nap today and she wouldn't 30 minutes squirm, squirm. So we got back up and then she was Listen, like. It's because her daddy wasn't here oh, to yeah, put her yeah. to sleep. Y'all, this time change has got me. Like it's felt like the longest day ever. You sleepy buddy. Oh. I think you ready for a nap. You eyes look tired. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and coming up on the podcast channel. Me and little mama watched the video and it really triggered a good yeah. topic. The topic is be careful what you wish away. Yes. Now, you'll find out what that is over on Table Talk. It's going to be a good one. You'll probably see us cry. Yeah. I can guarantee that one. Man, yeah. It's a heartbreaker. It's a heartbreaker. But it, it's not in a bad way. It's in a good way. It's going to make you think. Yep. But guys, we love you all. And until the next time. Stay positive. Stay country. Stay true to you. <laughs> Tell them bye. Bye. Say I love you. Bye.